tonight, TripAdvisor is under fire. The trusted travel site is accused of deleting posts from tourists, putting out warnings about resorts in Mexico, a popular vacation destination for many North Texans. And people aren't just upset about poor service. We're talking about serious claims of injuries, blackouts, and rape. That includes a woman from North Texas who says that she has been fighting for years to be heard. News 8's Monica Hernandez has her story. It looks like the perfect picture of paradise, a five-star luxury resort in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. And with four and a half star reviews on TripAdvisor, you'd have no reason to think otherwise. But Christy Love in Dallas says, think again. You don't understand. This, I wasn't on the beach. This wasn't a harassment. I was raped. She says in 2010, a hotel security guard raped her when her key card stopped working and she asked for help. He grabbed my arm, I pushed him off, no. He grabbed my other arm, he threw me in the bushes. She says management refused to call police, so she turned to TripAdvisor to warn others. But then... Every day, TripAdvisor would remove, delete that post. Christie's warnings aren't the only ones that have been deleted. Our partners at the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel interviewed more than a dozen people who say TripAdvisor deleted their posts about blackouts, rapes, or injuries at Mexican resorts, saying the content wasn't family friendly or was hearsay. The Journal Sentinel found that some hotels pay TripAdvisor when travelers click on their links and good reviews help. In a statement today, TripAdvisor apologized to Christie, saying there is no tie between commercial relationships with our partners and how our content guidelines are applied to reviews or forum posts published on the site. After the Journal Sentinel started asking questions, Christie's original review was finally republished seven years later. But while it was down, at least two other sexual assaults had been reported at the same resort. And the number of times that it's happened since and had my post remained. Monica Hernandez, Channel 8 News.